If you ride motorbikes, if you're into fast cars, and if you enjoy exhilaration on the water, keep watching this video. Monterey 298 SS Super Sport. This is the walkthrough. If you want to see a test drive video, click the link coming up on the screen now. We'll just get rolling straight into it. These boats are all about fun. They're all about excitement. American muscle on the water. They look as you would expect a sports boat to look. It's a big, almost 30 foot bow rider. It's all about fun, exhilaration and feedback is what you get on boats like this. You really do get a lot of feedback from the vibrations, from the excitement, from the wind in your hair. If you are that sort of person, if that's what you're chasing, you'll be really interested in this boat. So just starting right up here in the bow, um, wonderful construction setup. You know, we've got a lot of stainless steel here. We've got a quick electric anchor windlass. This is a brand new boat, so it's still got things like zip ties. It hasn't actually been commissioned. Um, but we've got the safety just here. We've got a stainless steel anchor going to gal chain, and I can see the chain goes to rope after that. I do note it's got these special hinges, so it just allows you to close the hatch without doing any damage to the fiberglass is the way I understand that. And then we enter this uh, beautiful bow area. And I mean, this is, this is what you do and enjoy on boats like this. You get up, get to your anchorage, get to your mooring. Thanks for whoever put those waves off. That was very considerate of you. Anyway, um, you get to your mooring and you, you know, set up lunch, enjoy yourself. And we've got this removable table. This goes aft and we can sit it in the forward section like we have uh, here at the moment, but it will also remove is what I'm trying to get at. So there's some storage down the back of the boat. The table will slip away, same as the table arm. So you can have this all open. These two cushions here and here will also remove and they have their own place inside the boat as well. So if you want to create a more of an open vibe, if you're standing looking at a, you know, fireworks or yacht race or whatever, it's doable for that too. Underneath my bum, there's a forward esky. So we have more options for keeping your drinks cool, but that's the first one. We have navigation lights here and here, pop-up cleats just on each side in the bow, and a nice grab rail because, you know, if you really are going for it and having some fun and you've got people in the bow, they probably will want to hold on. They'll just feel a little bit more secure. We've got some JL audio speakers here, uh, two drink holders on both sides, and uh, another JL audio speaker on the starboard side. Facing forward, you really would have a good time uh, and underway doing 40 knots which is what we got in the test drive a little bit more um, on a flat beautiful location like this and you could do it at speed because someone sitting here is actually really safely nestled into the bow um, in sensible conditions don't do it in offshore conditions but you're not oh, you're not you're not hindering the driver's sight line you're enjoying yourself. It's even ergonomically designed for you to have a good time with things like this flip down armrest, the design of the cushion here. You can literally sit back and enjoy the ride. So that's very cool. We're on the sea deck. So this is obviously soft, insulated, good for grip and really, really practical. If you've got people getting in and out of the water, you know, if they're sandy or wet, it's great. You know, it's obviously suitable for hosing the boat out as well. Um, so then we come through uh, the middle part of the boat here. First things first, we've got the opening windscreen. It's got the nice stainless touches all the way around. That looked really sexy from the drone. And then you go to the black, looks like anodized aluminium uh, on uh, the rest of the structure of the windscreen. So you pass through and if you driving on a cold day, you'd probably close that. So you'd close that and the windscreen obviously, and that actually stops the wind passing through the boat to keep everybody warm. On a hot day, probably doesn't matter so much. In here is a storage area for all your bags and the cushions that I just spoke about, and the middle cushion, which turns this into a big bow bed. And you also have a small fuse board for some of the fuses, but there's another location as we make our way through for the rest of the fuses. So when I get into this part of the boat, we've got storage for safety gear, I would say, and other items accessible through this big hatch with gas struts. I can see um, your mid bilge and also your sump box just in there. I can see the ski pole has a nice little storage area and we've got a, a all round white anchor light which is removable and stores down there as well. Heaps of storage forward of that. Um, just get all this in shot, Matt, because I want to show you guys one of the important features of the boat. Um, first thing, glass bo glove box. You put a few phones in there, and that's no problems. Got a uh, drink holder just there, but ladies, we have a loo, and it's perfectly acceptable. So I would probably enter the loo 
like this. You step down, and it really is designed for ladies. You can, it's a bit of a sit down, and you've probably got to angle your head slightly, but it's more than enough to keep someone comfortable for a long day on the water. We have ventilation from this small hatch just here. I've got a pull out little shower, so you can actually wash yourself in here because we've got a sink, uh, or a drain, I should say, on the floor. And the sink is what I was about to refer to is just here. Small, uh, storage for two toiletries bags. Um, in there, quite a large amount of storage behind the head, so you could do something with that. We have these two ledges here and here, so you could store all the cleaning gear or extra toilet rolls, all that sort of stuff in here and um, you know, not worry about it. And we have, it's an electric Technomar or Techmar, I should say, Lou. Um, okay, exiting, we have the navigator's seat is quite comfortable. So we have these flip up bolsters which are mounted on very, very high quality stainless um, mountings or fittings. That's really easy to operate and super comfortable underway. You know, one and a half people, no problems, but it's perfectly designed for this sort of angle right here. You've got a handhold there. That's the drink holder I spoke about before and you're totally protected from the wind when you're going fast. Now, if you wanna observe a skier on the rope, you can, and this is all you have to do. So it's that easy. And then communication with the driver is super simple and you are very well protected under the sun. So, or, or from the sun under this bimini. So I would be leaving this one up all summer long. You can option these with electric fold down targa arches. So if you need to get under low bridges or maybe if you're putting it on a trailer, oh, this is a very big boat to trailer in Australia, but I'm sure the Americans would. Um, so for Sydney, this is probably makes more sense because this is more our vibe and your protection from the sun is up to here and it goes all the way back. I'll point that out on the way through the boat. Um, and with the wind, it's quite solid. So it's, it's something that you would just leave up all the time. Now, let's get in here and have a look at this helm. They, 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 they do a good job, Monterey. Like, it's what you would expect from an American muscle vibe. They're an attractive boat from every angle. You know, looking at it from the drone, this thing just glides along. And it's, it really is, uh, if you dream about boats, if you dream about that, that sort of muscle vibe, you, you absolutely get that from the Monterey. But the helm itself, we've got the Mercury display just here, the digital display, and we have analogs on either side. So we've got twin 4.5 litre, we've got the C cores, so they're optimised for salt water conditions, and they've got an extended warranty on those ones. I've got my fuel gauge, revs with digital insert, so that's gonna give me other information. I've got everything I need on the small Mercury display, and my starboard revs just here, and this is my volts for alternator on starboard. Just here I've got a Fusion, one of the many Fusion head units just here. Navigation, docking, cockpit lights, arch lights, speaker lights, and blower on port. Underwater lights, bilge lights, bilge pump, accessory one, accessory two, and horn on starboard. I've got a little amp meter just here below those buttons, and here is my Lenco trim tabs, accessible easily with your right hand. This is the new Mercury throttle base. This is quite ergonomic, good to use through bouncy waves. We just tested that today. Um, you can operate the drives manually here, or you can use the active trim. I found the active trim um, to be useful in choppy water. It kind of reduces one of those jobs that you need to think about when you really need the rest of that concentration energy to be focusing on the boats and the waves. So it's handy for that, but in the flat water, I would just deactivate it and just go hell for leather and have a good time. Um, so that's that. You also have the sky hook and the joystick. So that is a really good piece of technology. Uh, a 30 foot day boat like this with twin engines, having that accessible to us means we can just walk this boat in sideways to the marina. We can spin it on a dime. And if you're not used to doing all the transverse thrusts with engines the traditional way, this takes all the confusion out of it. And also the ability to just press sky hook and let the boat sit exactly where it was or where you activated it um, takes away the stress for you. So if you're needing to, to prepare the boat to, before you go into the marina and get the lines, get the fenders, that sort of thing, or just settle your guests down and you're a little bit close uh, or, or you know, on final approach to the marina, you can just press sky hook, the boat will stop, it'll settle down and you're all fine. I've got some phone charging in here. I've got my Fireboy system here. You've got your safety just here. Key starts on port, adjustable steering wheel, 
and currently the seat is in the fully retracted position, so you have lots of space at the helm. This flip-up bolster is really well built and quite easy to sit on. You could also find this leaning position a comfortable one at speed, and then flipping it down when you're in real race mode, obviously for me, short down, I'll put the seat forward. You are comfortable, your visibility is great, and you've got excellent protection because the wind goes at about that angle just there. So you really can lock yourself in and enjoy the ride, which is what you're supposed to be doing on a boat like this. Armrests, which flip up here and here, and you could, you could sort of just get two people on this, or at least um, dad and, and you know, father, uh, father, son, father, daughter type situation. There'd be enough room for a little kid in there is what I'm trying to say. And then when you're relaxing, happy days, captain of the ship. If you need to put the seat forward, you just pull this out here and the thing slides forward on those tracks just there. So um, let's just make our way down the port side. I'll show you guys what I discover. Quite, so we have the Esky forward. This just here, let's pull both of them out. This comes out to give you some more space if you need it. I would store that in that storage locker just there. This one here also pops up. That looks like storage for another Esky to me because you've got all the space you need for your safety gear up front. Your water toys have other options. To me, if you wanted extra coolage, cool storage, I would be putting it just there. That, that seems quite logical and um, a good place for that. So, got that away. Drink holder, drink holder, another JL audio speaker, and there was a subwoofer at the helm, which I didn't point out. Um, and the end of the Bimini, in terms of the sunshade, it finishes just here. So it's the middle of the day right now, but you can see, see how it is bathing this whole middle part of the boat in shade so it gives you options lots of people are going to want to sun themselves on a boat like this so people are going to go to the back sun lounge to get some sun and forward but having this middle area here bathed in shade where you're going to be operating does make a lot of sense so bin sensible well constructed by the way this is like a this is corian and this is glass that actually feels like a corian finish there i'm not 100 sure and then i've got an isotherm fridge just there with the freezer drawer nice and cool we have a cold water only sink that just pops up there and then we've got three drink holders just here so nice little prep station if you've been to the cafe you know you get your takeaway food place it here and then people can you know position themselves around the boat for enjoying a meal so matt why don't you just come here and point back i'll just take you guys out to the back of the boat. So I'm not gonna do it now, but electrically uh, operated via a worm drive, this whole hatch comes up here. All you do is you take that cushion out, this all opens up and that gives, gives us top down access to the motors. But as you are starting your day, this is how you do it. So this is a dual function. So this is actually a little dog door or a kitty door to stop small people exiting when you're underway. But you've got batteries, parallels, um, starboard, port, house, and parallel. And this is all your primary fuses. So I saw a few fuses forward of the helm in that storage locker, but this is gonna be the primary area. We can see our windlass breaker there as well. That's for the arch if you chose that as an option. And then uh, you've got your water pressure and everything else just in there. Your primary fusion head unit is just in here. So we have one fusion operated from the helm. This is your primary one where you would turn it on and off from. And there's another one as we make our way towards the back of the boat. Um, this looks like just here, this is gonna be the anchor all round white light, I would guess, because uh, that's just uh, uh, you know, another fitting. The fitting downstairs that I saw looks like it matches that one. A little bit of storage here, so that's gonna be fine for people sitting on this back seat. And great upholstery, doesn't hold too much heat. It's 30 degrees right now. So very comfortable on your bare bottom if it, if it, if it is that way. And um, very ergonomic, you know, sitting here, sitting here. This is definitely the best seat in the house when you're belting along at 40 knots, but you also have options. So this is on this angle for people facing forward. If you just pull this here and put some pressure on that, Happy days. So all of a sudden, you've now got 
an after-facing sun lounge like this. A couple of throw cushions, three, maybe even four people would enjoy themselves here. If you're underway, just be careful, obviously hold on, but definitely at rest, it's gonna be quite a comfortable place to be. So as you are exiting, you've got one, two steps just there. This is your swim shower, that's a cold water only. Your shore power is here, and that's just the magnet to hold the door. But you come out to the back of the boat, and you've got all of this lovely swim platform. So we spoke about the sun lounge, but it's dual function. So if I just operate like so, this is the custom table storage and wet, wet items. So I would throw wet items in here. If you've been skiing, you know, you've got your life jackets on, that sort of thing, that's a good place for it. There's also probably a rope locker and some fenders would go really nicely here on port. So that's another gas strut on good aluminium fittings. And then here is our other fusion head unit. So you can be chilling back here enjoying your time in the water and pumping the stereo as well. This here is where the ski pole mounts. And if you've been in for a swim, this is here how you get back into the water. You've got a four step deployable swim ladder right there. So everything you need, oh yes, I've got more cleats, pop-up cleats here and, and the same place on the other side. And we've also got the safety lights. So when the props are engaged, those lights are gonna be telling any people in the water if you're in gear or not in gear. So that's pretty important from a safety perspective. Just in terms of other cleats, we do have midships cleats on either side at the same level as the driver. I didn't point them out on the way through. So yeah, I think that's the whole boat, guys. It's um, American muscle, fun, energy, Saturdays, Sundays, if that's what you crave, if you want a boat that speaks to you, um, this is gonna do it. Look at that. Forgot about that. Yeah, this is gonna do it. These are the places you come, you enjoy, it's all about enjoying the journey on a boat like this. It's a boat for drivers because you need to control it. Yes, you can put it in auto, active trim, all that sort of stuff, and it'll do a bit of the thinking for you. But if you're someone that craves an experience, if you're someone who craves a bit of excitement, if you're a motorbike dri rider, if you're a performance car driver, that sort of mentality, and you really like a boat with a bit of feedback that takes a little bit of driving, you are actually gonna enjoy this Monterey more than most. So if you like this boat and wanna compare it to something similar, watch this video coming up on the screen right now.